What's up guys, it's Chris back with another unboxing. Today we are taking a look at a brand that I found when I was traveling in Denmark, in Copenhagen actually. I went into one of their stores, they're called About Vintage, and uh, I had contacted them. Uh, they sent me this watch to review, and this is actually the 1815 Chronograph, um, and uh, this is what comes in the box. Essentially, every watch comes with a free strap, I believe, um, and this is the watch here itself. This pamphlet comes in the in the box uh, on the top of the box when you open it, and it just says uh, your watch for free. So essentially, what they're saying here it's a it's an Instagram thing. So uh, you take some pictures of your watch, and they will enter you into a drawing, and then if you win, they'll actually just refund you uh, the money that you spent on your watch. So that's pretty cool. I, I you know. Uh, that that they do that. Um, who knows? You never know. You could actually uh, uh, buy a watch and then get it for free. <laughs> that that would be awesome. Uh, this is the free strap that it came with. Uh, this is uh, a leather. It's a suede. This is uh, called the sand suede. It also comes with a signed buckle. Their little logo here is on the buckle as well. Uh, we'll put this to the side and leave that for the full review and we'll do um, the unboxing. So, uh, very nice uh, hard cardboard on the outside, a very heavy um, wood box on the inside here. And here we go. Here's the watch. Let me just peel this off. And you can see it has a really beautiful deep green dial. It is sunburst. It's an absolutely gorgeous watch. I, uh, I asked them specifically for this color. They gave me a choice and I, I definitely uh, like this color the best. So let me just look what else is in the box and then we'll get into it. Um, there is some information here. They name their watches according to historical events um, in horology. So 1815, uh, it was an important year. This, it was the year the chronograph technique was invented says it right here, there's some other um, like mantras on here which is really nice uh, for a true gentleman um, yeah and then there's a little instruction booklet Let's see here, it just tells you the functionality of the watch this is a quartz watch it has a Miyota 6S 11 quartz movement um, sapphire crystal, dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating five atmospheres or 50 meters of water resistance uh, yeah, pretty much standard for a dress watch. 50 meters is actually pretty good for a dress watch. Uh, really quick, I will do a wristwatch check today. I am wearing the AP Diver stainless steel bracelet. Uh, I have not been wearing this a ton. It just feels like a huge watch recently. I don't know why. It is 41 millimeters or 42 millimeters, but it just feels big. Uh, but I love it. Um, yeah, so getting to the watch itself. So that is pretty much all that's in the packaging. There's a silica packet at the bottom there. Very nicely etched uh, by, uh, it says about vintage, and then by Scova Anderson there. Um, yeah, so hang tag just says 1815 stainless steel, green, brown. Brown, I guess, refers to the strap. Uh, I like how they put the strap into the keepers and not into the buckle. I don't know if that is just my watch, but I like that because I usually get a watch and then it has depressions where it was actually sitting. And I will take this back off. Okay. And there you have it. So, like I said, this is a quartz chronograph, but it has a lot of really cool details uh, that first glance you wouldn't really notice right away. First off, I'd like to say that this watch obviously uh, looks a lot like an IWC uh, Portuguese. I don't think that's a complete coincidence. This is a really, really cool watch. Um, uh, very, very Bauhaus, very Max Bill sort of design, and I think that's what they were going for. Uh, so obviously, um, you know these these are inspired by those by those watches probably by those designs uh, you know Bauhaus sort of um, designs that are um, 
that are very minimalistic. Uh, and this dial is definitely minimalistic. And you can see here uh, the numbering around the outside of the dial. Very, very small. There's very, very small applied indices. And then there's a little dot for each minute. Those are all applied. There's a really cool gold second hand, uh, which is ticking away there. Um, and then there's the About Vintage logo at the top of the minute counter. And then there's an M. I believe that stands for minutes. I'm not entirely sure. At the bottom of the minute counter at 12 o'clock. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that in this light, but uh, yeah. And then just very simply printed right at 9 o'clock, it just says Chronograph 1815 by Scove Anderson, and that is it. There really is not a lot going on on the dial. It's very simple, very, very clean, very Bauhaus, and I, I really, really uh, appreciate that in this watch. It looks really, really good. You have a sign crown. And again, you have that little logo, the About Vintage logo there. And one thing I really like about this uh, movement is, and I've, I've encountered this movement in other watches, when you hit the chronograph start button, it's really solid and very, very smooth. And then when you stop it and restart, it's completely smooth moving, and uh, it's almost like an automatic movement and it has almost a sweep to the second uh, counter in, in the central center, second counter obviously the uh, the counter at six o'clock is not uh, a sweep second because it is quartz uh, but like I said I like that little gold touch I think that's a really cool touch to the uh, to the dial and then I'll reset it again there we go so yeah there's no loom on this dial, obviously. It is a dress watch, so that makes sense. Not incredibly thick, uh, but, you know, sizable. It's a, it's, I, I would imagine this is somewhere around 14 millimeters thick, including that uh, dome sapphire crystal. I'll devil, definitely uh, measure it and have that information for the full review. Um, and the back is very nicely engraved. Uh, it says about vintage uh, by Scove Anderson. There's the logo. Designed in Copenhagen, um, you know, all the information that you would normally get. Uh, there's some numbering there. It says Copenhagen on it again. Uh, and it also identifies the movement, Miota, right there. And I believe that's a little bit of a skyline, probably Copenhagen. Um, and uh, you have quick release uh, on, these, on this strap. Uh, and it will make it very easy to change out with the strap that came with the watch. This is a very beautiful strap sort of like a vintage um, brown with a with a matching brown stitch on the on the uh, on the sides and then of course the same sign buckle uh, right there so pricing on these these are around three hundred and thirty dollars three hundred thirty five dollars um, and of course that comes with the buckle I mean excuse me the um, extra strap and um, you get, you know, obviously a bunch of different choices on the actual dial color. And I believe they also come in a gold PVD color, which is also very, very, very nice. So really quick, I'll throw this on my wrist so you can check it out on my 7.5 inch wrist. I will be wearing this watch over the next few weeks. And uh, I will definitely uh, do a full review so you guys can get... Uh, an idea of how much, uh, uh, how much, uh, how it is to wear, and how much I like it, um, and it is very comfortable. The strap is very comfortable; feels very nice. Um, and there you go. So this, I believe, is a 41 millimeter, and I will again double check all this information for the 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 complete review. Uh, but you can see when I move around that watch, sometimes it almost looks like a black dial, sometimes it looks like a green dial, sometimes it looks like a mix between the two, and it has a lot of of play with the light looks really really good uh, and I think that it's gonna look really cool with this sand strap and I would imagine this sand strap which is um, a suede color will eventually fade and and you know definitely get a little bit darker than this bright um, like sand white color uh, but it looks really good with that green um, green dial it looks beautiful 
really this dial is phenomenal. Uh, I really, really, I'm a sucker for sunburst fume dials where you get these, uh, you know, where it plays with the light like this. I just love it. Anyway, uh, please let me know what you think about this watch. I, uh, I am going to be doing a full review, like I said, uh, in the next couple of weeks. Please don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Please follow me on Instagram at watchchrisblog. It is super helpful and much appreciated. And thank you for logging on.